I'm back. Welcome back to my channel, The Struggle is Real with the Makeup Nurse. Today is Scented Saturday. So let's see how much I can smell today. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go in with the Elf Cookies and Dreams collection, or shadow. It's supposed to smell like cookies and creams. I still can't smell this, so you'll just we'll just have to take everyone else's word for it. All right, let's go in with oops, this brown shade here for the transition. Brush seems stiff today. How's your Saturday going so far? I hope it's going well. Okay, now let's go in with um, let's do a lighter shade today because I want to try that um, eyeliner again um, with a lighter shade on the outskirts. So let's put this blue here. Still trying to get light out. Hopefully that's a little better. I forgot to turn on that light in the back. So hopefully it's a little brighter. Like I said, I'm not usually a person that goes in with blues anymore. Not since high school. Wow, that was a long time ago. Okay, now let's do the cut crease. Okay, let's see what this lighter blue does for the inside if it's too light for so we have a light on the outside I was thinking maybe do the dark but I'm like I don't know Let's get a brush wet and try going in with your brush now. I think I had a little purple left over from yesterday on this brush because I'm seeing a tint of purple right there. I must not have 
Where's my brush go? Oh, well. All right, and then let's try this shade. It looks like a shimmery shade. You know what? It's not going to work. Never mind. Let's try the dark blue. Just right in the middle. Okay, now let's take this brush and just without putting any extra. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try these um, eyeliners again from I'm at the Beauty. It worked good yesterday. Or um, even on the dark. But I do like a thicker wing. Which you still can do, and it still makes it easier because it gives an outline. And I love the tip. It goes on really nice. Okay. Let's do the stamp. This is the right. I don't even need, I don't think I even need to change it. With the white blue on the side. Okay, let's do the left wing. Oops, wrong side. And I don't have to go like this because That is so cool. And like I said yesterday, you can still make a thicker wing. Hmm. Okay. Now I am going to go in with, um, I'll be right back. All right, primer, the Ulfa primer. This smells like cucumber. Did I use this last week? Probably because for some reason, cucumber is not my favorite smell. I mean, it's all right. And I can actually smell this, the cucumber. And I like how this one has like that slight, very slight silicone, but then it's tacky. So this is the primer that was talking to me that I I like this kind of primer. So next is our scented foundation that I've yet to be able to smell, and this is the Peach Perfect Foundation infused with peach and sweet sweet fig cream. Actually, yeah, um, I gotta go get the whitening stuff. Okay, let's put this on. Do I smell that? No. Wishful thinking. All right, let's get this.
funny story. So I just pretty much got into makeup about a year ago. I didn't really know much about makeup. So, and that's when I started like researching and everything else. So I was getting the subscription boxes back then too because I loved putting on makeup, I just wasn't any good at it. So I'd get this, you know, stuff and my daughter would be like, oh, can I have this? And you know, other people, oh, can I have this? I'm like, oh, sure. And if I've already told the story, I'm sorry. And come to find out, and my daughter told me, well, mom, this is expensive, you know? And I'm like, okay. Because, you know, my subscription box at the time, I think I was only getting the um, Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus. Because I don't think they had the X yet or anything. So, um, and then, like, I think I was getting, no, at first it was just that on Ipsy. And then, like, maybe six months later, I started Box of Charm and stuff. But anyway, um... People are taking ex like expensive stuff like my 111 and um, stuff like that because I'm like, yeah, okay. And my daughter's like, well, it's expensive. And I'm like, okay, like what was it, 20 bucks? And um, well, after I started researching, I realized, oh, well, it was more than $20. It's like a hundred and some dollars. I'm like, what? And my daughter's like, mom, I told you it was expensive. So when I was there this weekend, you know, I was looking at her makeup and um, she had like my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and or she had um, that and some other stuff. And she's like, well, you gave it to me, mom. And I'm like, I gave you that? She's like, I told you. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, they, everybody was taking advantage of me, of not knowing. Now I know how expensive these products were that I gave them. Like, I forget what, all the, what else I saw that I gave her, which is fine. She's my daughter, but. But anyway, I thought that was funny. Okay, I think that's the slightest we're going to get this. But I don't have a scented um, concealer. I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this Lip and Cheek from Too Faced. Even though I said it works better as a lip gloss. But we're going to... It's supposed to smell, and I don't have another liquid cheek that smells. So, we'll just use it as a liquid blush today. That's... But, like I said with this, you have to kind of build it up because it is more, I think, geared for a lip gloss. And the Dofa is kind of more geared for a lip. I don't like the Dofa. It's kind of weird. Oh, well. Did I just smell something? I think I did. All right, now we're gonna go in with the liquid, um, or the um, dewy stick from Gel Pop Elf, and this has like a sweet smell. I actually smelled that too. I get all excited when I smell smell it.
Okay. Now we are going to go in with this setting powder um, from Pacifica. This is supposed to smell like, I think, cherries or something. I haven't been able to smell this one yet, though, so I don't know if it really does. You know, I always, um, my patients that had like COPD or, you know, like some breathing issues, they were always very sensitive to smell. And so, of course, as a nurse, you can't, because of that, you don't know what kind of patients you're going to have. You can't wear like scented um, stuff to work. And, um, and after this, you know, and they're more, these patients are very susceptible to, um, you know, obviously the comorbidities or the multiple um, issues you have, the worse you are with the COVID. And, but I wonder if they lose their smell if they're not as, um, like, sensitive, like where it sets off their breathing. Anyway, I'm going to go with the Butter but Buddies the Eliminating Powder for my T-Zone. Oh, I kind of smell that. It's got kind of a sweet scent. But I wonder if they ended up with COVID and hopefully surviving. I hope um, that if it actually helped them not set off issues if they lost their scent. I used my highlighting brush. I'm not even, I was wondering, I'm like, man, it's a little harsh. You know, now that I'm not taking care of patients, I can Wear my perfume, and of course, I still always do light because I'm still in a hospital and you know, be cognizant of everybody else. But anyway, so now I am gonna go in with bronzer, and I am using this Winky Lux one, the one that smells like coffee breath. I figured use this one up while I can't smell because I don't like the smell of this one, it's supposed to smell like coffee. If you had this one, let me know if you think it smells like coffee breath too. I don't know. Slightly, I think I smelled it. But I do like the color of this. So if you can't smell like me, this would be a good, because I do like how it goes on and the color of it. And it's, I got this at Target, so it's, I forget how much it was, but it's not that expensive. That I know of. So, all right, let's blend this in. Okay, now let's do blush. This is the L'Oreal Paris Paradise Enchanted Scented Blush. It's supposed to smell like peach. Wait, did I smell that? Mm. See, it's like 
the initial whiff sometimes it's like oh I smelled it and then you go back in and it's like no nah, just kidding <laughs> like a tease just wants to tease you Okay, and now I'm gonna go on with this oh um, face and body shimmer. It's supposed to smell like no, oh, I do kind of smell that. Um, I don't know what it is, and I can't remember. Speaking of. Do not use this as a setting spray. Yesterday, after I used it, um, I got to work and there was like spots all over my face and like shimmer. And I'm like, yeah, it's a good thing I have my mask. So this, even though it says face and body shimmer, don't use it for your butt. This is fine. Because I'm just putting it on as a slight highlight, but I was not wanting like glitter all over my face. People are probably like, why is she have all this glitter on today? Okay, so let's, um, I'm going to go in with mascara and I'll be back. All right, let's finish our eyes. Let's go in with this, this shade here and put it right under our brow bone. And then right in the corners, give us a little pop. Okay. All right. Why do you ask I, why I have blue eye, eyeliner on my lips? Because we're going to go in with this NYX Blue and try it and see what it looks like. That's all right. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm being bold today. This is in blueberry tart. This is the butter gloss. Yeah. This is not my color. But I think it's supposed to smell like blueberries. So that's that. <laughs> when my husband sees this, he's going to be like, what did you do? <laughs> now I'm going to go in with the coconut setting spray from Wet n Wild. All right. So this is the final look for Sun and Saturday. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.